Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch and would like to purchase it, click on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 41 White Gold and Steel Reference 126334 with a Tiffany Ice Blue Custom Dial. I'm going to talk to you about the bezel, the dial, the case, the bracelet, the movement, try it on and give you my thoughts. So let's start. This is the Datejust 41. It's the large size for Datejust for men. Rolex makes their Datejust in size 36, which is medium for men, or large 41, which is what you see in front of you. You could also consider that Rolex makes the Datejust in size 42, aka the Sky Dweller, and that would be extra large, or small, medium, large, or medium, large, extra large. The Datejust 41 is right in the middle of that, and it's a perfect size for most men. I would say those that have a wrist size of seven inches or larger, which roughly corresponds to approximately 150 pounds to 200 pounds, could wear a Datejust 41 like you see here just right. Those who are bigger than that probably should get a Sky Dweller. Those who are smaller than that probably should wear a 36. Now, let's talk about the case a bit here. The case is made of stainless steel. Rolex uses only the highest grade steel, which is 904L steel, and that is highly anti-corrosive. It has a beautiful luster to it. It's very difficult to work with. And of course, Rolex being the leading watchmaker in the world, it uses 904L steel, which is no surprise. It's the best steel possible. Okay, now the case itself is 41 millimeters, as I just stated, that is from the eight o'clock to, to the two o'clock position, longest distance across the bezel. To give you some reference, Rolex started making the Datejust in this size approximately 15 years ago. Before that, all the Datejust were gentlemanly sized at size 36. Now that the trend toward larger watches has come, even Rolex, a very traditional uh, brand, has decided that yes, they need to also have a large, larger Datejust, and hence Datejust 41. Okay, so the case itself is made of stainless steel. It is a monoblock middle case, which just means that it's produced from one singular piece of stainless steel. It has a screw down case back and winding crown, which allows the watch to can, uh, maintain its waterproofness. Now, if you turn it on its side, you'll notice that it's about 12 millimeters in thickness, which is a standard size. And it's probably become a standard size, I would actually say, because Rolex has decided 12 millimeters is the size that they're going to use for Datejust. And since Rolex is the leader in watch, in uh, the watch world, well, 12 millimeters has become the standard by which you judge th the appropriate thickness of a watch. Now, the, pr uh, the thickness is just as important as the diameter because it allows the watch to be worn under a cuff and it allows the watch to be it determines whether a watch is going to be cumbersome or not. If it's too thick, then it will hinder your movement and can become a little bit bulky. If it's too thin, it ends up looking like too fragile. So it's got to be somewhere in the middle, which 12 millimeters is a very good size for that. Okay, now let's talk about the bezel. The bezel is Rolex's most iconic part on the watch. It's the Rolex signature, if you will. It's a mark of distinction. <clears throat> Originally, the fluted bezel that you see, see here had a functional purpose. It served to screw the bezel onto the case, ensuring the waterproofness of the watch. But now that technology has gotten better, it no longer is used for that. It's used for aesthetic purposes. And as you can see here, I would say, and I, I believe I, I would be right saying this, is that the bezel, this bezel, is the most recognizable part of a Rolex watch, more recognizable than anything else. If you see it from afar, then you can instantly recognize it, maybe aside from the logo. But 
you can't really see the logo from afar but this bezel you can see it from afar and you can instantly recognize that it is a rolex which is why i like it better than the domed bezel or the more expensive diamond bezel okay and did i mention it's made of course of precious material which is white gold now the rest of this watch is made of stainless steel but they make the the bezel out of white gold and probably because it's their mark of distinction and what better way to mark your distinction by then by putting it in a precious metal even though it's white gold it's not yellow gold it blends in and you might not even be able to tell it's stainless uh, white gold versus stainless steel the bezel that is but it is a mark of distinction and so therefore i agree rolex should make it in a precious metal which is what they do okay now let's go ahead and uh talk about the dial here now the dial is a very special part of it i kind of saved it for this moment now this is a custom rolex a custom tiffany ice blue dial and what do i mean by that okay now here i have another loose dial and i want to tell you what we do at jazz time to give you this beautiful dial now the dial is as you see here on my right is a loose dial this dial is what sits on top of the movement and below the hands and it comes in various colors rolex makes it in green and blue silver white etc etc and many variations of that but they don't make this variation which is the tiffany ice blue it's called tiffany because of the brand tiffany which they also use the same blue and rolex does not use this color in any other watch except their oyster perpetual which does not have a date and similar uh not exactly a tiffany but also an ice blue in their their platinum day dates but they don't make it in their most common and most uh well their most common line which is Datejust. why i'm not sure but many people have to ask for it and you can buy it at jazztime.com we make this bezel which is why we have this video here for you to look at it and decide that if you want to buy it from the comfort of your home so what how do we make this dial well we take the hands off we remove this plate which is the dial and we actually keep the crown and the hour markers from the original dial we refinish the original dial with this tiffany ice blue we replace back the hour markers along with the crown and then we put it all back together so is it custom yes it's not an original rolex dial well it is an original rolex dial it's just been refinished okay to have the color desired now you might ask well why would i want to to uh, do that to my watch why would i want to modify my watch well you know it's kind of like let's say you have a lamborghini or a ferrari or whatever car you have and you decide that you don't like the factory colors and instead you like to have a purple ferrari or a pink lamborghini or purple lamborghini which i've seen by the way or you like to have it with different graphics on it or whatever the case may be you want to have a metallic ferrari you know or whatever it is you want to have some individuality to your watch or your car and the factory doesn't provide that so therefore you must get it custom and it does not make the watch fake okay if you paint your ferrari does it make it fake no it makes it aftermarket paint but it doesn't make it fake okay it's still use it's still a real ferrari it's still a real rolex it just have a, a new paint job on it okay so does it wo void the warranty well it voids the warranty with rolex because you've opened it up just like a car if you take a car apart and it'll open up and mess with the engine probably ferrari would not honor the warranty anymore but this is a watch and if you do that rolex won't warranty it but jazz time will we offer a one-year warranty on this watch and if you'd have a problem after that i'm sure we can help you fix it rolexes are known for their robust and practical use that they hardly ever break and jazz time having sold uh, thousands of these rolexes i can't remember the last time we had any issue at least coming from the factory 
okay so let me also show you what else is beneficial about this dial it's in a index luminescent dial so let me shine the flashlight here and you'll see that the hour markers they light up along with the hands so that you can read it at night and it also gives for a much cleaner look of course if you really wanted we could put roman numerals here i think the sticks or indexes batons whatever you want to call them looks a little bit better but that's just my opinion now uh okay now let's move on to the uh bracelet the bracelet is a jubilee bracelet rolex makes their day chest in oyster and jubilee the jubilee is five links across the oyster is three the, the Jubilee doesn't scratch as easily. Well, it does scratch, but it's just not as noticeable because the links are smaller uh, than the Oyster. So, uh, and it has a, well, check out this buckle. The buckle is quite special in that it is a uh, folding Oyster clasp with an easy link five millimeter comfort extension. And why that's important is because it allows the watch to be sized or change the the length of the bracelet without actually having to change anything else as in it, you don't have to change the um, size of the or you don't have to use any tools to change that which I think is pretty cool okay now let's talk about the movement the movement here is covered you can't see it the only watch that Rolex makes that you can see the movement at the moment is the platinum Daytona this movement is a caliber 3235 it replaces the old 3135 it has a power reserve of 70 hours it's very nice but you cannot see it and not a whole lot to talk about okay now let's go ahead and try this watch on and let me give you my thoughts i'm six foot tall 200 pounds and my wrist size is 7.5 so for me this watch is a perfect fit i think this uh 41 as i said for men with a wrist of 7.5 inches is ideal i don't think a smaller one is good for a guy with a wrist size like mine 7.5 but if you have a larger wrist size than mine for example like 7.75 or even 8 inches or larger you probably should go with a sky dweller now why would you want to buy this watch well as i said earlier you might want to have your watch a little bit more custom a little bit more for you something that not every guy is gonna have and why would you want to have it in tiffany ice blue well you could actually do it in any color if you let us know we can custom make it for you in red green purple indigo anything you want we can do it why would you want to do it in this tiffany ice blue well i can say this is more like a summer watch a watch that you could wear with other pastel colors i can imagine linen clothing with it like maybe white linen pants a pink shirt or a light pastel pink shirt or pastel yellow even pastel light green just some kind of pastel color for the summer you know uh, in saint tropez in nice in monaco in bali uh in miami in California, you know, just with maybe a, a Panama hat, who knows, something that looks very summery, and I think this watch will look great for that. So if you want to buy it, click on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Jazztime.com If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.